When you set up drivers for hours of service, you need to make sure that they have all of the information required so that they can successfully transfer logs to the DOT. For this demo, we'll add a brand new user, but you can just as easily click on an existing one to add any missing information. We'll go up here to add and put in a username, which for this example is going to be an employee number. To be compliant with hours of service regulations, this has to be at least four characters long. Add the driver's first and last name. Scroll down here to the forced password change and click no. Type the password in twice so that you're sure it's the right one and you can give it to the driver later. And come down here to the security clearance and change it to drive app user. You can scroll to the top here now and we're going to go over to the driver tab and turn it on and say, yes, this user is a driver. We'll scroll to the bottom where it asks for a driver's license number type that in, and also make sure that you put in the state or province. Then we'll scroll up to the top here to hours of service settings. You're going to want to set your rule set, turn on any of these exemptions if they apply to your company, and then fill out the home terminal and home terminal address. This is the motor carrier's place of business where the driver ordinarily reports for work. Fill in the carrier number, which is your US DOT number if your company resides in the United States. You can turn on yard move and personal conveyance if your driver needs those and make sure that the authority name and address are filled out as well. This is the motor carrier that your driver works for and the carrier's main address. In this particular case, this is a smaller company, so this is the same address as the home terminal. Now that that's filled out, we'll scroll back to the top, hit save, and the driver is all set.